are excited. <laughs> we are excited today to share with you how to get your home ready for a home study and your first placement. That's right. And these things that we're going to share with you today, they are things that we needed to have done in the state of Missouri, but they're all things that will probably translate to all the states. If you're curious about your state, you can look it up on their Children's Division website. Okay, so just a few general things that you need to do to get your house ready for your home study and your first placement. Um, make sure that it's just clean and safe for a child. No loose railings or balconies or decks, broken windows, that kind of a thing. Also make sure that your smoke detectors are working and that you have carbon monoxide detectors if you have gas, heat, or appliances. They're, they know that you live in the house don't worry about it being spotless. A little bit of dust is not gonna make you fail. So in the kitchen area, you have to have a fire extinguisher, a minimum of a five pound. At first we only had a three pound, so we had to upgrade. So lots of times in the kitchens, you keep a lot of chemicals or flammables or anything that could be poisonous to children. So those must be inaccessible and either or locked up. So what we did, we locked some of them up, the more dangerous stuff, and some of them that we accessed a lot, we put up on an upper shelf. Also, we had to have an emergency escape map drawn out of the house in the escape routes and emergency contacts clearly posted. We actually posted ours on the fridge. So as far as sleeping arrangements goes, each child will need their own age appropriate bed. Um, so like toddlers would need a toddler bed, an infant would need an infant bed. Over the age of two, they will need to have their bed separate from you in their own room. Um, each bed will need to have sheets and blankets, pillows, all of that typical stuff. And also you'll need a separate room for genders over the age of six. So siblings that are different genders, but under the age of six can sleep in the same room, different beds, but in the same room. But once they get to the age of six, then they need to have their own room. Okay, in the bathroom area, it is super important that you lock up all of your medicines. All medicine, prescription, non-prescription, it all needs to be inaccessible to children. We use these super cool magnetic child safety locks for everything that we kept locked up. So we consolidated all of our medicines into one cabinet so they would all be locked up. Also, you need child doorknob safety covers on all of your exterior doors. During our first placement, we actually discovered that we needed to have buzzers on one or a few of our interior doors. This was because we had a little three-year-old girl who was in the habit of wandering in the middle of the night. So that was incredibly helpful to know when she was up and about. And you need to have outlet covers for all of your outlets. Links to all of these things will be in the description below. Okay, so for the outside of your home, you just need to make sure that it's child safe. If you border a busy street, you will need a fence, but if you don't, you probably won't. Your case manager will tell you that. Um, outdoor playthings and hazards like trampolines and pools will need to be made safe. You'll need a net on your trampoline and probably a pad on the springs. Pools will just need a cover or like a fence around them. This was honestly the best investment. Finally, guns and ammunition must be locked up and must be locked up separately. A box, a locked box or a locked cabinet will usually suffice for the ammunition. I um, also wanted to throw in there something that threw us for a curve on our home study was that we were required to have an alternative heating source. That was something that we weren't expecting, but I suppose they're just looking for a way to keep uh, warm if the power goes out. So our house is all electric and 
we had a Mr. Heat that goes on top of a propane tank and that was sufficient enough to meet their requirements. So that was good news. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about your home study and getting your home ready for your home study and your first placement, please let us know in the comments below. We love to help and we can't wait to see you again next week. Ready for home studies? <laughs> <laughs> okay.